Hey everybody, it's RPG Hero here, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Let's just get right into it. Uh, last time we got our sword and our shield, and uh, while well, I was away from the camera, I grinded up to 50 rupees. Uh, what you see there is my TV flickering. That's what the problem was, except it was much more extreme, and it was going like that to just... No, oh, tongue twister. Whatever, so let's talk to our best friend in question. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Jiku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Betcha. Suck it. Um. Oh, dear God. So. Basically. What's been happening lately is, that's my, with my TV, it's been flickering on and off, and it is just, oh, uh, first enemies here, uh, Daiku, uh, Deku Babas, uh, they don't do too much to you, but they drop, uh, Deku Sticks, which are stronger than your Kokiri Sword, uh, which is kind of, uh, odd, but, anyway, uh, great Deku Tree, crap. Whatever, ha, huh, cutscene time, I'll be quiet. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know it actually did that. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, sorry guys. I guess if you push no, he doesn't let you enter, but I actually didn't want to enter yet because uh, there are these guys that I kind of want to kill. Although I don't think it just sends you right into the dungeon when you say yes, so. Uh, uh, Speedrunning tactic here if you want. You go a bit faster down hills and up hills, but not on flat ground when you go, when you uh, side hop. But, uh, anyway, uh, let's equip those Deku Sticks. Okay. Hello, Nobby. Open up. Yo. Yes, I'll take the task. Uh, I'll read some dialogue. I don't think I'm gonna read this one, just cause I'm pretty sure you can see it okay. The dialogue, or the, yeah, the dialogue. And then he's just telling you that Navi is the up button, and when she tells you to, hey, hey, listen, hey, listen, to press up, but I don't, just because all of her information is completely useless. She's more, she just should have been, A, take her voice out and do what they did in Majora's Mask, uh, just make it a little ringing sound, but... And these are the Deku Nuts. Um, I'll show you what to do. Uh, they stun enemies, is what they, is what their purpose is. Like so, and then just cut away. Because you, we all know that, uh, Link likes to cut things. Uh, you may have noticed that I just lost half a heart, and I am completely stupid. I can't believe I lost a heart. Ugh, that's really annoying, because I usually don't take any damage this first dungeon. Uh, let's see here. <sighs> Look at this wall. The vines are growing on it to give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Link. I guess if you're, like, a first-time player at Zelda, that would be useful. Anyway, uh, treasure chest here. Uh, it's funny, because... When you're in a scene like this and getting a treasure chest, uh, this is also funny in Wind Waker, 
Uh, if you have, like, an enemy right on top of you, he gets into the scene and becomes frozen while you're doing all your stuff, so it's hilarious. Uh, spoilers about an enemy, but, uh... Ugh, shut up, Navi. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, there's a enemy. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> a redead? It, it got on to me, like... It was raping me like they usually do, and, like, <laughs> it was in the cutscene, because I got the treasure chest for the, for a certain item that I'm going to get later, and it was, like, during the whole cutscene, it was just on my back. It was hilarious. But anyway, uh, he's telling you about if you jump off a higher, like, a, a cliff or something, if you press... If you, um, keep holding forward on the joystick, uh, you'll roll. Like, so. But, um, if it's too high, you'll either fall off, if you're falling off a giant cliff, uh, oops, um, that means you're just gonna lose a heart no matter what. Um, then there's a big cliff where you'll lose a heart even if you try to roll, but you won't completely get, like, Annihilated. I'll show you on a certain area we're going uh, in a little bit. Uh, this is the fairy slingshot. Um, it's basically your first ranged weapon of the game. Uh, not too useful. As soon as you get another certain item, like literally two dungeons from now. But uh, let's see here. I equip it and you hold it and fire. And if you took the trap, like this, this thing falls. But I was pretty sure, whoa. I was pretty sure you could hop on it from here, but I guess not. But shoot that ladder if you, if you screwed that up. It is pretty hard to do. Um, let's see here, what else am I going to do here? Definitely getting some cool commentary with this, faux show. Um, it's going to be, oh. You'll you'll see who it is after after he gets here. Oops. Uh that's slingshot ammo. And really does does Link have to hold everything above his head when he gets it? He's like, Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Okay. Oh that's bad. See that's what it does. That's what that's what it's been doing lately and it's gotten horrible. I'm I'm glad I got to demonstrate that. Uh that's why I haven't been recording lately. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, it's, it's getting really... Come on. You, f you fool. Suck it. Uh, that's the hard way of beating them, or the stupid way of beating them. But, uh, 8, 15. One more room, just one more, because I don't have a lot of time. Okay, push these buttons, and this will happen, and just run like hell. Go. <laughs> Go. Yeah, that is apparently a lot harder in the, in the Master Quest version, but, uh, whatever. And we got the compass. I think we already got the map, and I'm sorry if I didn't, like, announce that or something. Uh, also, people have been asking me if I'm gonna 100% it. Uh, kind of. I'm going to get all the heart containers, and I'm not going to get all the golden skeletons. That's that's for sure. I I don't know where those are. I can I'm going to get like 40 to 50 golden skeletons, and I'm not going to get the full hundred. I'll tell you what the hundred one prize is because I've done it before, but that took me hours and hours of gameplay to find them all. So I'm going to screw that. Uh, speaking of golden skeletons, here's one. Ah. And every time you kill one, you get a coin like this, and oh my god, it's 9.30, so. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to stop it here. Uh, next time, we'll continue uh, the dungeon, so. See you guys.